Hey everyone, welcome to Lachlan Likes a Thing, a show where I take a thing and see whether or not I like it. Now the thing we're looking at in this video is the NAD Viso HP50. Uh, yes, that's right, you guys asked for it and now um, many months later you guys are getting my review. Um, but quite honestly, uh, thanks to all my regular subscribers who leave comments uh, pointing out things that I should be listening to or, or giving suggestions. I don't get a chance to listen to everything. Um, but I have to say, I don't really have time anymore to kind of uh, keep on top of everything that gets released nowadays. And a lot of the times, uh, I only really learn about cool new products being released because a bunch of you guys uh, leave comments asking me what I think of them. So that was the case with the NAD Viso HP 50. Uh, I got a lot of comments asking me what I thought of them, so I uh, finally got off my butt and sent an email to NAD Electronics in Canada and they have sent me, uh, they've loaned me a review unit to have a listen to, so a big thank you to them. Um, so NAD is a electronics uh, and audio company from Canada, which is interesting because this is the first uh, electronics product I think that I've ever really had an experience with from Canada. So that's a little bit of a change of pace. A, uh, the NAD Viso HP50 is apparently the first effort from uh, NAD in terms of making a headphone, uh, which is really quite remarkable because really in many ways this is a really, really mature product. The Viso HP50 is what feels like a very solidly built product um, and that's really a lot to do with its basic simplicity as a design. So it's uh, mostly centered around this very large, uh, unusual looking headband um, which is just one, basically one single piece, and then we have uh, metal headband arms here, and adjustment mechanism, everything feels very solid, uh, very well put together. Um, the e-cups themselves are made of plastic. I have to say, I'm not a super big fan of overall how the e-cups look, just because this glossy black plastic tends to uh, kind of accumulate fingerprint smudges like nothing else and I'm not so sure about uh, the, the kind of logo and, and then the big Viso lettering here, but that's really kind of my aesthetic kind of consideration. The Viso HP50 comes with a detachable cable and you can actually uh, attach it to either side of this headphone, which is a nice touch. It comes with two cables in the box, they're both flat cables. One is a standard portable uh, length cable and the other one is a cable with uh, iPhone and kind of iOS device controls. Now in terms of the cable, it's a flat cable. It's decently built, but it doesn't have a great deal of strain relief, especially on the plug side. So that's a little bit of a something to watch out for. Um, it is uh, generally a bit on the thinner side for a flat cable. So just in terms of comfort, the HP50, as you'll see, even though it has relatively large square shaped uh, ear cups, the actual ear pads themselves are relatively small. And some users might find that your ears might touch uh, the, the driver side of the, uh, the ear cup, or some other users might find that your ears will touch the sides of the ear pad just because this opening is a little small, even though technically it is an around ear headphone. Uh, so when you put them on your head, clamping force on the HP50 is actually a little higher than average because of this uh, headband design. Um, and the funny thing about this headphone is that even though it is a portable headphone, the design is entirely dominated by this huge uh, headband. And honestly, I have worn this headphone in public and I have gotten quite a lot of looks on the street just because of this, uh, this arrangement, which kind of almost makes you look like a Frankenstein monster. Um, I think it actually honestly looks a little bit goofy on the head, but I know some of you uh, are just gonna not care what other people think and they'll very happily uh, wear this headphone as long as it sounds good. And uh, in that respect, moving on to the sound, yes, I can tell you the Viso HP50 does sound really good. The NAD Viso HP50 is one of the most finely balanced, finely tuned headphones that I have heard. Um, it's one of those headphones where, and this is such a big cliche, but this is really one of those headphones where nothing in particular really stands out in the sound signature, but overall it's just really delicate, really nicely balanced and well done. 
Um, so in terms of overall, overall signature, it's just a little bit warmer than neutral, but it's a very laid back, uh, very delicate kind of sound. And I should clarify when I say uh, laid back, I don't mean that this headphone sounds slow or, or kind of sleepy. It definitely has uh, really a really fast, uh, a detailed, a textured sound to it. But it's a, it's a signature where nothing is particularly prominent. Um, so this uh, ranges from the bass, which is quite well extended, but it isn't particularly accentuated. Uh, there is a bit of a upper mid-range kind of focus that I hear in this headphone that gives it a bit of texture, but it doesn't go so far as to sound kind of nasal or, or, or blary or anything like that. Um, and in terms of sound staging, uh, it's, it's very, you know, it's quite a nice defined sound stage. Everything is, is quite well placed and very detailed and, and details really just kind of uh, stick out. However, the, the, the only criticism I would make about this headphone in terms of sound is that just the upper, uh, the upper range of the treble is, to my ears, maybe just a little de-emphasized. So uh, there's a little lack of sparkle and there's a little lack of a sense of space as a result. And so the sound stage can sound just a little bit more intimate and compressed, but some people might really prefer that kind of signature just because it's definitely less fatiguing and overall I still think this is a very very finely balanced headphone. This headphone is a really good all-rounder for all kinds of genres of music and I especially think it sounds nice with acoustic music because of that nice texture to the sound but you could say this headphone can sound a little bit boring when it comes to your more aggressive genres uh, like electronic or kind of dance music or anything like that. Um, though I still think it does a pretty good job with those. Uh, it's really interesting to compare the uh, Viso HP50 with the M50X, which is uh, the other kind of portable around ear headphone that I'm listening to at the moment. The M50X is actually, even though it's a studio monitor, it's more aggressive and it's more kind of punchy than the HP50. So it's got more of an emphasis in the bass and it's definitely got more kind of treble sparkle that has gives it a bit more of aggression and a bit more of an air. And overall, it doesn't sound as natural as the HP50, but if you're after a bit of excitement, I think uh, you might want to look at something like the M50X. Um, but the HP50 is one of those headphones where I'd very happily recommend this to headphone to anyone if they were just after one headphone that was going to suit their kind of daily needs. My only concern really is that the design of this headphone does kind of stick out like a sore thumb on the street. But if you're willing to put up with that, I think that this is definitely one of the better options out there. So this is a thing that I definitely like. Uh, and a big thank you uh, to you guys for all recommending it to me. Anyway, uh, click the like button if you found this video helpful. You can talk to me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Lachlan Likes a Thing on Twitter, at Lock Likes a Thing, and happy listening.